Hi, Cameras. Robert again, Johnny Walker's RV. This is a front. This is an 05 uh, 23 foot attitude. Uh, it's got the uh, full walk on roof, so if you want to go up there and watch the races, you can do it. It's got a ladder on the front, so if you want, you don't need to have a step ladder to get up on the roof. Uh, we're going to, obviously, this isn't detailed. He just got off a weekend of going to, to the sand dunes and stuff. We detail it out, we clean the roof, we clean the sidewalls, we clean the frame, we clean the steps, we clean the tires, we go through the inside of the coach and the outside. Let me show you some of the things over here. This has got a nice big door on the side for nice storage that goes all the way through. He obviously still has some of his stuff in here. We're going to clean all this out. Uh, I don't see any wear and tear on the side of the coach. Uh, there's no cracks on the, uh, on the striping. Uh, again, this just needs a new detail. If you look at the awning up here, uh, we're going to replace that, put brand new vinyl. So you can have a brand new uh, vinyl on the awning when you pick it up. It's got dual security lights on this side. So you got two lights here, plus you got an orange porch light. And you got a stereo system that goes on the outside of the coach. So if you put your awning out, you can listen to music back here. Tires are in good shape. I don't see any cracks on the sidewalls. Uh, that's pretty pretty good shape. Stabilizer jacks in the rear of the coach, so when you put the do ramp door down, it's not going to flex the frame. Uh, you got stabilizer jacks on the front of the coach. The door in here looks like it's about a seven foot door, which means you're going to have uh, you won't be bottoming me out your uh, your rhino that you're going to put in there. This has also got when you put your uh, when you put this coach in reverse, these lights back here are security lights. You can turn them on at night, leave them on, but when you're hooked up to the truck and you put it in reverse, these lights will actually uh, turn on and light up this whole area in the back so you can see where you're going. Fuel station on this has got about 36 gallons of fuel. You're going to have about 100 to 130 gallons of fresh water in here too. 50 gallons black, 50 gallons gray. Another neat feature is you have a place, this is going to be where you put your 30 amp service. Okay, so this is a 30 amp service and we're going to give you all the adapters to take it down to 110. This up in here is a nice little, this is a, for your power sprayer. Uh, it's 45 PSI, If we, uh, we got the hose to it, the hose plugs in here, it's got a quick disconnect. Uh, that'll let you wash off your, uh, your uh, rhino or you know wash the kids or the animals off. Six gallons hot water heater. All your hookups for your drains and everything are on this side. Real easy to get to. Over here is where you put your sewer hose. And again, we're going to give you two deep cycle batteries, sewer hose, water hose, power cord adapter, water pressure regulator. Uh, and again, we're going to detail the coach out. And inside here, you got a 4.0 gasoline generator that runs off your fuel station in the back. Uh, it's going to burn about a gallon an hour running the air conditioner. And those are approximates. Uh, I like, this is actually a Generac. I like this generator. This is why. The Onans, they're, they're, everything you can get to is in the front. You don't have to get to the side of this generator, so you don't have to pull it out. Uh, to put your oil in, it's real easy to get to. This is your, your uh, filter, your oil filters right here. And everything that you need to work on the generator, if you need to do it, is really accessible to get to. And here's your fuses. And here's a prime button. If you want to start it on the outside, you can prime it. And here's your start button right here if you want to start it. So, a nice little feature. Okay, Cameron, this is the inside of the coach. This is a 23-foot front bedroom with dual queen beds in the back. So this is one queen bed with a futon, uh, so you and your wife can sleep up here, and you, this will actually sleep up to eight people. Uh, you got three queen beds and you got two full beds. Uh, back here is a nice size shower with a regular uh, RV toilet. Let's see. Come back here and show this to me. They've upgraded the the uh, spigot on the the uh, shower. Of course, you can see this is nice and big. Let me show you. I'm six foot eleven, three hundred fifty pounds. Look at the room you have. <laughs> I wish I was six foot eleven. 
good. Another night neat feature is if uh, your wife wants to brush her teeth and you're taking a shower, you're not all, not all in the same area, she, extra large sink outside, she can get to it, brush her teeth, not in the way of anything, and uh, all your towels and everything, pantries, this is an extra closet right here that can fit in here. You got two extra drawers in here and down underneath the vanity, put all your toilet paper and chemicals and so forth. Inside the bedroom, you can't see this, you got two opposing windows. So if you want to open that window, it's an emergency window, it's got a screen on it, and open this screen, you can get cross, good, good cross ventilation in here. You got speakers in the bedroom for your stereo system that's in the living room. You just switch it from A to B. Refrigerator is a six cubic foot Norco with a, with a, with a manual uh, uh, preset to make it colder or warmer. It's not automatic, so you can get it a little bit colder than the automatics. It is a two-way, it is gas, and it is electric. And it's got the bigger refrigerator in here. It'll absolutely hold a uh, regular size pizza. Um, you got a tw you got a 16-inch oven with a broiler pan, and you also got a three-burner high-output stove. Comes with a little TV set, and that looks like it's about a 24-inch. Here's the Here's the prime button for the generator started inside. This is how much gas is in it. Obviously it's on empty. And this tells you how many hours are on it. It's got 506 hours. I sold this to the gentleman brand new back in 05. Uh, so you're looking at you know about 100 hours a year he put on it, which is very minimal. Uh, coach like this this year should have probably 800 to 1,000 hours on it. And uh, he used it a lot. He did mostly dry camping uh, out in the dunes and so forth. Now from the back door to here, it's, it's 9 feet 8 inches. Okay, your coach is, with the front bumper, your coach is 9 feet 11 inches. So in between here is like 5 and a half feet. So you would actually push your coach right here, and this will take it to 11 feet right here. So you, so you got more than enough room to put your Rhino. And again, that's what he put in here was a Rhino, so he had the same vehicle that you had. The, uh, come on over here, Mike. The uh, beds in the back are electric, so there's no manual. You don't have to pull them down. Back in 05, it was a 50-50 chance you get a manual bed. This is an electric bed, so if you want to bring those down, all you do is you hit this button. These will go down, and of course, on the very, very top of that, you got the ladder, so your kids can get on that top bunk, and that'll go all the way down. You got, uh, if you look up on top, Michael, there's. Uh, you got windows up on top. You get good cross ventilation. You won't feel like you're claustrophobic. And over here, you got your fuel dispensing switch. So for you to use the fuel station on the outside, you have to come in here and turn this on first. Then there's a button on the outside. You got to turn that on. The reason they do that is they don't want kids going by. They don't want kids going by uh, turning it on your fuel station on the outside of the coach. So it's a safety switch built in. Um, it's a nice coach. We already gave you the price on this. Uh, you're going to need um, you're going to need brake control and wiring. You're also going to need uh, stabilizer jacks and sway control. We'll make you a deal on those. Uh, but again, um, tell me what you think of it. If you like it, go ahead online and fill out our credit app. And I'll do the at. This is a before picture, which is nice to see. We'll give you that after the picture, after we go through and clean it and detail it up and stuff like that. So, you have any questions, uh, give me or Michael a call. It's 1-800-879-7720. Uh, or uh, email us back. You have our email address. And, again, you're going to stay here for a couple nights in the coach So before you take it home. Uh, if there any problems arise at 2 o'clock in the morning, the next day we handle it. But we go through the coaches, check for gas leaks and water leaks. Uh, you're going to want to do business here. If you're buying a used coach, again, this isn't a new. You're looking about $32,000. Uh, again, we gave you the price on it. It's less than a third of what a new one would cost. And it's a one-owner coach. And it was bought right here at Johnny Walker. And all the service was done here at Johnny Walker. So uh, we know the history on this coach. So, Cameron, you have any questions, please give us a call. Thank you.